Oh, it's gone from Wessex Blades. I've had a lot of deliveries today. Um, from a few fire steel blanks to uh, brass tubes to a big green thing, which hopefully will take a bit of an appearance in the next couple of weeks. Um, and I had a letter here. This is from Z Outdoors. Um, he said he found something lying around. Would I be interested? In um, so I was expecting like an old screwdriver or something or in the post. I've got a letter. Treat this letter as an unboxing. This is from Z Outdoors. Give it the old Chris Kaner. Hey Scott, who was that? It's Zed here from Zed Outdoors, sending you a brief to the point letter. You were missed greatly at the recent preppers weekend. Yeah. Um the let's say the amount of things that were clawing at me with the run up to um the car running rough um Tesco's constantly asking me to work on at weekends um the wife not working um it, it just constantly 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 my daughter might be coming back and they'd be picked up from the train station and all the rest of it so by pick up, that's what did that bloody 30 pound fine and that was just the, the, the thing that just tipped me over the edge Apparently, Bath City Council are going against that, so it's it's even worse in a way, because they're not even, you know, it was, it's actually coming back to me, but it hit me then. So yeah, it was. It's it's one of them things. I've you know, for the first one, Funky and Roach. Um. You know the concept, and it all worked out. And the venue looked great, and they were able to offer it to so many people, and the weather was pretty reasonable. And it's just, it's right in the middle of the country, so most people can get it. It's, it's frustrating. Yeah. But, yeah, you know, I, I just couldn't make it. And to hear, to hear you're unable to attend the upcoming bushcraft show, I couldn't sit back and accept, well, I might be able to make it. And the reason is this the car I don't know why has suddenly started running good enough that it's not stuck on ghetto mode so at the moment I can sit back and set because you've given so much to oh, here we go. because you've given so much to the community over the years and I want to give some back to you so the following has happened I've bought you a ticket to the Bushcraft Show. I'm arranging a group shelter. Oh, I'm under the same roof as you and two other tuber doobers. Breakfast, lunch and dinner the entire weekend. Or needs to be bagged clothes, personal items. The only thing I'm able to do is the transport. Uh, the transport's looking alright. Oh, you star. See you at the Bushcraft Show. Peace. Z. All I need is my sleeping bag, clothes and personal items.
right then lads <coughs> right I better tell Tesco to shove it then for that weekend don't I oh my life Z outdoors. Thank you very much. I mean, it's so I was contemplating best case scenario visiting on the Saturday. That was my ultimate goal. And now it looks like I got the weekend. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. to say over and didn't see that one didn't guess it did d why just amazing like you said outdoors I never thought I'd be able to get to the whole weekend I just go to work Saturday drive up get there at 10 spend four hours drive back in order to get to work the next day that is to ask the most curveballish gift gesture that I've had in a long long time didn't guess didn't twig not me bloody sideways thank you Zed so I'll uh, see you all at the bushcraft show then. Thank you, Zed Outdoors. Smiley face. That's amazing. 